Well, it's February the 3rd, and the ground has been dry for over a month, probably like six weeks. And if you like outdoor activities like snowmobiling and stuff like that, it really sucks. It's been a pretty horrible winter for Southern Ontario. But I always like to look on the bright side of things, and the one good thing about it is that there's been a lot of good sales on outdoor clothing in Toronto recently. So I decided to pick up a couple pair of gloves that I've had my eye on the last couple years, but I haven't been able to decide which one to choose. Well, since they both came on sale, I thought, why not get both and uh, run a little comparison video? So this is going to be my initial impressions, or first impressions of the Marmot Ultimate Ski Glove versus the Black Diamond Guide Glove. And maybe in a couple years after I use them for a while I'll uh, have an update video to see which one actually works better. Maybe I'll even try wearing one on one hand and one on the other at the same time to see which I like better. But uh, yeah, so this is going to be an initial comparison video just to kind of give you guys an idea. So in terms of what comes with the gloves, they basically come with the same thing except the Black Diamond Guide Gloves come with Nick Wax weatherproofing for leather. So that's a little bit of an added bonus. Uh, you know, it's definitely important to add this Nick, Nick Wax uh, leather weatherproofing just to make your leather that much extra waterproof. Now, if it doesn't come with it like these Marmot gloves did not, you can of course buy it separately. Uh, this was 10 bucks from Mountain Equipment Co-op or your local outdoor store. Otherwise, these gloves are pretty identical. Um, as you can see, one big difference that you can see right off the bat is that the Marmot gloves come with what's called Gore-Tex Active and the Black Diamond Guide gloves come with Gore-Tex Warm. Um, just a quick Google search, these two types of technology are very similar but it's quite apparent that the warm technology is just like the name implies you know better for very warm conditions the Gore-Tex Active is also good for cold weather conditions but um, again the warm designation implies and shows that it's ideal for very cold temperatures Let's check out how the gloves compare against each other in terms of weights. So for the Marmot Ultimate Ski Glove, both extra large gloves are coming in at it 257 grams. Um, that's pretty close, if not exact, to what their claimed weight is. Claimed weight of 8.8 .8 ounces. 258 grams equals 9.1 ounces. So that's pretty much spot on again to account for the extra large size compared to the large size that they have on the website. So let's see what the black diamonds weigh now. The black diamonds are quite a bit more. They weigh in at 365 grams. So over 100 grams more. And for those who want to see it at Imperial, twelve point eight ounces. So if weight is a huge concern, the Black Diamond Patrol Gloves, or sorry, the Black Diamond Guide Gloves are significantly heavier. Perhaps the biggest difference, and one that might not be obvious at first glance, is that the Black Diamond Gloves come with a removable insert. So this insert here is removable. Whereas the Marmot, you cannot remove that insert. So I'm not really sure how that's going to affect things over time. It might be nice to be able to remove the insert to wash it, I guess. Um, but yeah, that, that is the one major difference. In terms of sizing, you're supposed to measure your hand like such around here. My hand size is 9 inches. So I ordered an extra large based on that measurement for, from both manufacturers. 
and it's clear that the black diamond glove does fit tighter than the marmot. So the extra large black diamond is nice and snug on me. Um, I wouldn't want it much snugger than that. So the extra large is pretty much the perfect size, whereas the marmot, the extra large gives me a bit more room inside the glove. Um, I could probably squeeze in a riding glove or another shell of a glove inside for very cold conditions. Now the marmot gloves have these ripples in the knuckles that is supposed to add a little bit of dexterity. Uh, you can also see that a few other small differences. The black diamond guide glove has leather surrounding the entire thumb, whereas the back of the thumb on the marmot glove is cloth. Um, similarly, in between the fingers on the black diamond glove is nylon cloth, whereas on the marmot it's leather. So it'll be interesting to see which wears out first based on the type of conditions I use these gloves for. I quite often find myself yanking on things, pulling on rope, uh, helping people get out of stuck situations on their snowmobile, pulling on winch cable. So, uh, you know, I've often seen my snowmobile gloves tear around the palms and in the finger, between the fingers where I would grab onto things. So we'll see which ones stand the test of time. Both gloves have adjustable draw cord cuffs that are both easy to use with your gloved hand. So it's just a matter of pulling the one cord to cinch them up and then pulling the other end of the cord to loosen them back up again. Same with the marmots. Slightly different style, but just as good. The one cord cinches them up, the red cord releases it. So my only hope now is to actually get enough snow to put these gloves to use. I'm not holding my breath, that's for sure, and it doesn't look like Jasper is either. But I guess as soon as the snow goes away, at least we can go ATVing and dirt biking again. And for those cold early spring rides, either ATVing or dirt biking, I expect these gloves will work well for that as well. I'll keep you posted. An update video will follow in a couple of years.